once when you've adjusted your v-groove wheels uh, if you grab the head or the or, or the uh, bridge and move it back and forth uh, you can torque it uh, side to side and so whenever I move uh, need to move the uh, bridge or the head uh, I always grab the uh, the belts move it forward and, and, and backwards and uh, left and right uh, that way you don't torque the head uh, or torque the ends here and in doing so it will prevent you from creating extra work to retighten your lower V groove wheels uh, in your X and Y positions. So just a helpful hint. I'm going to tension uh, the bridge belt. We're using uh, a clip here on a full set of Allen wrenches and we're going to take an Allen wrench and tighten between the two blocks to where this clip is uh, in the line uh, that's in the, uh, the slot of the uh, bridge rail. That is how you know that you've uh, reached the uh, proper torque amount. So we're there. You can remove the Allen wrenches and then you need to tighten up your floating block and your bridge belt is torqued to the proper amount. We're going to be tightening the X axis belts here. Um, the bridge is installed, um, your stationary screw should be tightened to the final torque, your adjustable block in uh, this uh, nut should be uh, snug but not file, uh, have a final tighten, tightness on it, and we'll adjust your belt using the uh, block adjustment screw here, once again using a set of Allen wrenches line up your, as your reference mark, the uh, line that's in the bottom of the uh, slot that's on the uh, extrusion. Once whenever the top of your clip has got to that line, you're at the final torque of your belt. And so now you can do tightening, final torque tightening of the screw that holds the block repeat for the other side.